Um, hi, I'm Christy Johansson Penny, Client Director at the Marketing Practice in Seattle. I have Becky Lowenstein, who's one of our inside sales specialists in Seattle. And we're going to chat a little bit about the current situation with COVID-19, what that means for B2B marketers specifically. And the reason we're doing this is as at TMP, we're doing a lot of uh, homeschooling for marketers is kind of what we're calling it. It's just things that we can do to help people understand the situation and how they can shift, change, charge forward in the current environment uh, to help themselves and help those around them. So hi, Becky, thank you for joining. Thank you, Christy. So a, a big question that we've been getting a lot from some of our clients and we've been seeing in the market, um, you know, adjacent to what we're working on is people are kind of freaking out. Like, you know, revenue forecasts are down and they're thinking, oh my gosh, I just need to stop. I need to stop all marketing efforts, all B2B outreach, I need to stop right now and reassess. What do you think about that? Is that the right thing to do? Not. So um, the relationships need to go on. Uh, we need to adapt and respond to the needs that we have. So if we drop everything, it will be that much more difficult to pick the relationship back up in the unforeseeable future when we can do that. Mm -hmm. um, we're really in a if not now, then when situation. Right. How are you feeling? So basically what you're saying is like, it's really important to continue nurturing accounts, even those that might be warm or specifically those that are warm right now. Yeah. Uh, I would say everyone, I, there's a unique approach to contacting uh, existing customers, mm -hmm. um, possible opportunities, possible nurtures, uh, and also net new, completely cold, brand new relationship accounts. Mm -hmm. How would you, what, what is the difference, the finesse between those cold accounts and those, those nurture warm accounts? How do you speak to each of them differently right now? Yeah, so for all of them, it is how can we bring value in the short term and the long term? For existing customer relationships, we may have a more complete picture of their needs mm -hmm. and what value we can bring. Mm -hmm. um, we see them perhaps shift from long-term to short-term strategy, but they can also uh, pick up uh, digital transformation projects faster than they might have otherwise. Um, right. And then the same with, so for net new accounts, we are basically leading with empathy and compassion to understand where they are, what their needs, pains, and challenges are in this time, and that can become the starting point for a relationship. Definitely. I think um, something that I've been seeing just on my more like account, <clears throat> account management client service side is we've been really shifting what the value proposition is and taking a, a bit of a step back from what we have planned to do during this time, just generally in terms of our fiscal planning, and it's more, okay, if I'm looking at this specific account that my client is trying to call on, what is the new value proposition that will help them scale in this current environment? Are you seeing um, great success with that kind of uh, application in the field right now? Yeah, so um, I've been, for example, I've been working with one client for the past year and uh, we paused briefly for a week to just reassess what value the client can bring at this time. Then we resumed the campaign with that new value message. And now as I'm on the front line, I'm the one who's responsible for finding out, is this the value that we can bring? Let's align and refine that value closer and close, closer to get to what we can deliver. Yeah, I think it's it's such an interesting time. We're seeing that as well as some of the other accounts that I'm working on uh, in that it's this interesting timing situation. We had launched a campaign weeks before COVID and we're having pretty good, you know, decent success. And then the COVID kind of shutdown started and it, we actually had better success after the fact because we've repositioned our our value props to be more of you're in a tight bind. Things are crazy right now and you need to either fix 
to deal with the current situation or adapt to um, you know what your customers need. And it's been really interesting to see the success that we've seen because of that change in messaging. And I think you know based on what you were talking about before, it really goes to that value of continuous communication, building that rapport with the people that you're reaching out to. Would you agree? Yes, so the continuity of the relationship is tantamount and also starting a brand new relationship right now will be memorable. The fact that we can say, hey, we're here for you and we are trying to understand your challenges and objectives now um, rather than abandon. Why would we abandon anyone right now? Like, <laughs> yeah. No matter. Yeah, not even just the sales. I think just in like a friendship and a relationship yes. perspective, it's like you've worked so hard to build this. Why put it to the Wade side now? It's such a good point. Yes. Well, Becky, this was such a good little chat. I think these are such key bits that it's so important for people to keep in mind right now. Um, you know, I read something recently that uh, a, a good learning from the last recession, if we're going to call this a recession, the last recession was that those that kept marketing going during those tough times were the first to bounce back and or to not have as many issues. And I think it just really, uh, it's a good learning to think about now for sure. Yes. Yes. Cool. Well, thanks, Becky. Have a great day. Thank you, Christy. Talk to you soon. See you in the office one day. Indeed. <laughs> thanks.